I had such a nice time. My friend Hanky is so funny. Don't you think she's funny? Very droll, I'm sure. She makes me laugh when she told me about the old lady and the holy chicken. Did you have a good time? Uh, how's Tim? They won't let him out. They're doing more tests. And guess what the holy chicken says? No idea. Wait for it. <sighs> well, we've got the quiz tomorrow. I mean, what are we going to do without Tim? Oh, dear. The quiz. I suppose you want me back on the team to help you. Um, we couldn't ask you, Anna. What with all the work you've got on at the moment? It's very difficult. Well, don't worry, eh? But I see what I can do. Oh, well done, Victoria. That probably lost us the quiz before we even get to answer a question. I'll see you later. Great. Right? But Helena's useless at general knowledge. I mean, all she cares about is pop singers, German shepherd dogs and Titan's methane levels. Well, you're not supposed to have general knowledge specialists, Sarah. Yeah, but you don't want total divvies either, do you? Like Helena or Lucy Hancock. I mean, we are supposed to try and win. Casimir? Daniel? Isabella? Oh, come off it. Piers, of course. Let's ask Piers. I'll see what he says. Oh, pathetic. A bit obvious. A bit? It's embarrassing. Piers, you'll help us, won't you? We've got the intergalactic quiz tomorrow, and Tim was on our team, but he's still having tests, so we're one person short. Please, Piers. You want me on the team? Yeah. I'm a post-grad, have you only just noticed? Oh. I give you lectures and seminars and little green pills. Yeah, I didn't think. Have you asked Mercedes? Piers, I'm no more an undergraduate than you are. Yeah, but you're not on the teaching staff. You can pretend, you can cheat. I suppose you think I'd do that rather well. Mercedes, sweetie, I think you'd do anything for the common good of Columbus College. Don't say I'm going to have my illusions shattered, am I? my plants alone. People have got to eat those. You enjoying yourself, Daniel? Pardon? Do you feel you're using your time effectively? And making the most of yourself and your talents? Well, reasonably. Hmm. I worry about you sometimes. I wonder whether you're getting all you should be out of Columbus College. I'm all right, thanks. Well, I just wonder how we can involve you more, integrate you. How we can get you more... Integrated. Exactly. I feel quite involved most days. Look, Daniel, you're a clever boy, so stop wasting everyone's time. Why don't you do some work? It's got to be easier in the long run than continually trying to avoid it. I am going to work harder. I promised myself I would. Good, because we don't want any failures at Columbus College. And dropouts, Daniel, have a long way to drop. 700 million kilometres. To Mother Earth. I'm doing some research today, actually. Good, so if I happen to pass by the study lab, you'll doubtless be there. Oh, and uh, what's all of this I hear about you losing another card game to Victoria? I hope she isn't leading you astray. Did you actually see Hanker? I didn't need to, did I? I heard all about her. She's imaginary. Oh, don't be rotten. Do you really? Well, nobody ever sees her except for Anna. And nobody understands her jokes except Anna. What's all this? You must have the wrong bag. Oh, where's my stuff? <laughs> this must be Anna's bag. Why don't you see if she's got yours by mistake? I'm glad you're on our team, Sarah. You're brilliant. <laughs> Please. Bad logic. Petra, make the logic work. Use your problem-solving capabilities. Remember, you're cleverer than I am. No option. Option lost. Sam lost. Sam? Are you there? <sighs> oh. 
Oh, you really lumbered me with it this time, didn't oh, you? Come on, think of the prestige, the intergalactic quiz. It's like being chosen for Deedle's ten, isn't it? <laughs> no, it is not. You need to watch out for that girl. The way she looks at you. In my experience, when people look at you like that, it ends in tears. Her father has just died. Exactly. Bitter <sighs> tears. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. <laughs> That's rich coming from a doctor who couldn't spot Tim's nettle rash when he was covered in it. Okay, brain of the galaxy 2050, you tell me. That kid's been eating the same food for years. So how come he's allergic to it now? Eh? Afternoon, Fiona. Hello, Fiona. Oh, grow up. Wait a minute. We can't have him roaming through Petra's files. Well, perhaps you should simply ask him what he's up to. Ask him? When you look at Brennan, you have to think power politics. He never wants the same thing twice. He wants the Ilya, then he doesn't. He wants Petra, then he doesn't. And now he wants to split Petra in two, for heaven's sake. What he wants is anything that'll put Deedless back on course. Yes, yeah, my ship and my computer. I think you're taking all this Ilya versus Deedless stuff a bit seriously. Poor guy's going into deep space. He needs all the help he can get. Not from me, Commander. Well, I can see all that. What's he doing with Petra? None of it makes sense. For heaven's sake, ask him. You okay? Here's your bag. I must have fixed it up by mistake. Have you got mine? Oh, here it is, Tom. I was thinking, if you still need someone for the quiz and you don't want to interrupt my revision, you could ask Hanka, maybe. Oh, it's okay. We've got Mercedes now. That's funny. Cheap, cheap. What? Cheap, cheap. That's what the holy chicken says. Anna, where's my makeup? I don't know. It was in here. I know it was in here. I never saw it. I'm hyperallergenic. I've got to have my makeup. I can't get any from Space City till they get into the Valencia's cargo hold. Anna, where did you get makeup from? I don't have any makeup. Anna, I never use it. Yes, you do. You know what St. Paul said? No, I don't. But I do know that you're all tarted up like a dog's dinner. Fiona, if there happened to have been an accident. What? Just don't hit me! So they'll ask you a question, right? And if you're sure you know the answer, then you press the buzzer. I'll try and remember that. But if you're not quite sure, then you're better off to wait, because if you press the buzzer and give them the wrong answer, then we'll lose a point. Well, as long as you don't expect me to do anything but turn up for the competition. No, of course not. It doesn't really matter, does it? It's only a quiz. No, not really. Mind you, it would be nice to win and make a bit of a change. Well, I'll try not to let you down. Mm. Um, what's your specialist subject? I'm a navigator. Oh, I'll put you down for the geography then. Thanks. Anna Bagani smashed all my makeup. Why? What does a kid like you need makeup for? What am I going to do, Seth? What am I going to do? Well, I'll borrow some. Oh, look, you look much nicer without it. I can't let people see me without makeup on. Oh, come on, calm down. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Well, don't you think you're overreacting a tiny bit? Or are you really a werewolf beneath all that slap? Oh, you don't understand. You just don't understand. Oh, Fiona! I was right about one thing. I don't understand. That's what I'm trying to do, Petra. Excuse me. Yes? I'm having a bit of a problem loading my program. So am I. If you're unhappy because people shout at you, the best thing to do is to work. I would, but I can't load my program. I'm busy, and I'm not here to teach you. No, sorry. And the others? Petra, where are the others? It's a real pain when you can't get the stupid thing to work properly. It's not the end of the world. It is for me. The whole lot, everything, all smashed and ruined. How did she do it? I mean, how did she manage it? Look, you don't need makeup. I've always thought how you Scottish girls have wonderful complexions. Scottish? Who's Scottish? You can manage perfectly well as you are without putting that stuff on your face. I can't. And my curlies have gone. What's she done with my curlies? What? For my hair. I look like a mad sheep without my curlies. Well, borrow some for the time being. Or, or put your hair in braids. Braids? Plats? Oh, if I use anyone else's hair bleach, makeup or curlers, I get a terrible allergic reaction. Like Tim Shaw on the food. I can only get my makeup from a store in Knightsbridge. At 16? I've got three months supply in a cargo hold of the Valencia, but they can't get at it. They can't get at the food or medical supplies either. I know, isn't it awful? I have to
to stay in my room. Oh, for goodness sake, pull yourself together. You're supposed to be intelligent. I can't let the world see me as I really am. Fiona! It's the quiz tomorrow. They'll have to find somebody else. No, they won't. You're going to take part in that quiz, my girl. Make up or not. Sam. Sam lost. All lost. I know that. The others. Can I see the others? It's no good. I can't hear you. Sound. What is he saying? Nobody heard him, the dead man. But still he lay moaning. Yes? And I was much further out than you thought. And not waving, but drowning. Is that what happened to them? They sent for help and nobody understood? Sam Fars? We're getting there. Why are they coded? They were secretive about everything in those days. No open information policies. The crew were dead, and they hushed it all up. Nobody heard him, the dead man. But still he lay moaning. Can you hear me, Sam? I won't hear you now. I've been dead for 30 years. And I was much further out than you thought. And not waving, but drowning. Sarah is staring at me now. Why is everybody staring at me? I often find that. Sometimes I go for weeks on end when everyone just seems to be staring at me. <laughs> oh, God, they want me to practice for the quiz. It's like being back at school, rallying around for the house hockey match. Yeah, and we're all counting on you. Uh -huh. I shall come and watch and cheer you like mad. <laughs> Don't you dare. Honestly, I'm beginning to wish I'd never agreed to it. They'll be electing me head girl before long. Is she still eating? Yes. She's been at it for ages. We really ought to go through everything, you know. I can't get over them broadcasting it back home. Mm. Well, it takes a while and then they put it out by satellite. Mm. My friend Hanka told me something very interesting about satellites. She's very intelligent, Hanka. I'm getting really nervous. <laughs> where does Hanka live exactly? Callisto. Well, whereabouts on Callisto? Space City, of course. Hi. I need you to help me with the problem. Can you make it down? When? Now? As soon as you can. There may be a minor shuttle from Space Harbour. I'll take you down. Say about ten minutes. Thanks. Well, I've got to be back before this afternoon. I've, I've got an important appointment. No worries. How does Hanka earn her living? I mean, what does she do all day long? Why do you want to know? She's finished. Well, where's she gone now? And where's Fiona? I said it was an accident. She's on her way now. Good. She's a very good navigator, your Mercedes. Yeah, I know. Not that she is your Mercedes. Well, no. I wanted to check some data on Jupiter's system for me. Deedless navigators are better at interstellar navigation than finding their way around this little pond. <laughs> Tell me about Sam. It's fascinating, isn't it? Why are you so interested? I have done one braver thing than all the worthies did, and then a braver than doth spring, which is to keep that hit. You're beginning to sound like Petra. They were heroes, those people. They went off in the Elizabeth Bonaventure to go further than anyone had ever gone. They all died. I want to know all about it. What happened to them, how they felt, what it was like. I see. You don't. But never mind. Come on, Fiona. You don't know how awful it is. Well, no. I can't see anyone. I can't have people looking at me. <laughs> well, you can't stay here. I'm frightened. Why? What of? I think if people can see the real me, they'll know how awful I am. <laughs> well, you look exactly the same to me. Oh, but I'm not. Look, I've never even noticed the makeup. I mean, I always thought you were very well balanced. Yeah, well, that's the made up me. The real me isn't. Look, you can't have got a lipstick and a bottle of pan stick to pass all the psychological tests for you. They're just props. I need props. <sighs> Come on. Get dressed and let's get going. We've got the quiz. I can't. It's no good. I just can't. Okay. 
the truth won't work, common sense won't work, there's only one thing left for it. Emotional blackmail. Oh look, Fiona, Victoria's dad's just died. And there's only one thing that keeps her mind off thinking about him all the time. Okay, but you'll have to help me do something with my hair. Oh, hello, you all right? Yeah, I was just wondering if you meant what you said about me taking you out. If you were just being kind, you don't have to come. No, no, I'd love to, but uh, I can't have you treating me. I'll have to take you out. No, no. Uh, it's my treat on my winnings. OK. Well, Friday? Yeah. All right, I look forward to it then. Me too. OK. Um, I was just looking for Mercedes. Oh. We've got the quiz. She's in Space City. I took her down this morning. <laughs> Bit young for you, isn't she? Oh, come on, I'm not going out with her. <laughs> well, it's not what you think anyway. Hmm. What does she think it is? I still don't really understand why they wanted to keep Sam a secret. Knowledge is power. Isn't that right, Mercedes? So you keep telling me. That's why people love secrets. When I was young, we were taught to share things, especially resources and information. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, hola? Where are you? I mean, what are you doing? We've got the quiz in half an hour. Oh, my God, the quiz. I'm, I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Keep on forgetting. I need you here. She forgot. That's awful. She should have said no if she didn't want to do it. Well, I know who'll do it. You continue getting the dome ready. I'll see you up there. What a shame you didn't ask my friend Hanker. Hanker? Who is this Hanker? Well, you shut up about your stupid friend. It's all she ever talks about these past few days. Hanker this, Hanker that. The holy chicken. Holy chicken? Yes. Believe me, you don't want to know. You'll die laughing. There's this old lady, right? Anna, please. I think I heard you telling it earlier. But the punchline, you didn't hear the punchline. Maybe later? Yeah, much, much later, like next week. Look, can we get on with the quiz for now, please? Can't believe you're in my head like this. It's terrible. And look like a mad sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sure it'll be all right. We'll get you in the next one. Right, are we all ready? Oh, hurry up, Daniel. The link with Moon Station's open. Now, I'll need your autosex. We don't want any aspersions after we've won. Oh, Moon Station have won the last four times. <laughs> oh, these links. I'm going to make a secret sign for Bob. <laughs> right. I hope you're ready, Christopher Columbus. I'm Enzo Pellici in Space City Control, question master for Jupiter System. We now have communication with Moon Station, and I have their CDV of the first round right in front of my eyes. You have 45 seconds for introductions, followed by the first question. So, can you please tell everyone who you are? Daniel Weatherby, age 20, from Henley-on-Thames, studying stochastic analysis and analytic calculus. Fiona McBride, age 16, from New Eltham, reading further maths and advanced computer science. She told me she was Scottish. Sarah Robbins, aged 19, from Nottingham, reading abstract computer studies. And Victoria Frobisher, aged 20, from Brent Cross, reading biotechnology and chemistry. You should have gone, Mercedes. There's nothing I can do. I'm, I'm sorry. I meant to get to this stupid quiz. I... I just forgot. What we're doing here is far more important. We're checking charts for Amalthea. Radar scan readouts. You never know what you might find. Oh, but you do, I suppose. I have an idea. Now, I want you to check Amalthea's radiation levels for me. How much sodium is being spewed out by Io, and what effect it's having on the Van Allens. Well done, Moon Station. It was indeed Atahualpa, Inca Lord of ancient Peru. Now then, Columbus, sorry about the delay, but it's your turn again. And don't despair, you could still make it. Who painted Simonetta Vespucci? Botticelli. Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, sorry, Columbus, nearly there. Botticelli was the answer you were looking for. Another penalty point, I'm afraid. What is the name of the Starship expedition planning to go to Parkinson's star? Daedalus 10. Correct. <laughs> now, history and grisly murders. Who killed Jean-Paul Marat in his bath? Who? Charlotte Corday. 
Charlotte Corday. Well done. Another bathtub murder. Who killed Agamemnon? Clytemnestra and Aegisthus. I have Clytemnestra. I can accept your answer. <laughs> Which members of his family did Chahangir Mogul murder in 1600 to make safe his throne? Can you not see how impossible it is for us never to be sure what's going on? You have to know everything and you want to tell everyone. You never learn. That's the trouble with people, not like Petra. What is all this with Petra? Petra hides her secrets. Why? What for? She never forgets anything. And she learns from experience. You mean you don't want Petra? <laughs> after everything you said, you're after Petra? Of course I am. Look, it won't be any good. Her programs have evolved on Ilya's highly eccentric hardware system. We can build an interface. I don't believe all this. You assured me on more than one occasion you did not want Petra for the Daedalus. I didn't understand her then. I didn't know her capabilities. Why can't you be straight with us? Cool it, James. If you're not happy... First there's the Ilya. Then Petra. Now all this mystery about Amo Fair. It is not a mystery. It is highly confidential and I can't tell you any more than that. You have to trust me. Trust you? Trust me or get off the team, James. I won't keep you. Machiavelli. Yes, you've done it. Columbus Courage, you've won the quiz. You now go through to the next round where you face the French Academy in June. Yay! And to you, Daniel, you were wonderful. Yes, I suppose I was. Really. <laughs>